morning, Year 6. I hope that you're all well. Uh, my name is Miss Price and I am the Head of Transition here at Nicholas Breakspear's School. Now, we know that uh, the world at the moment is going through a very difficult time, so we wanted um, to make sure that all of you were feeling okay and feeling excited about starting at Nicholas Breakspear. We also know that at Nicholas Breakspear School we put in quite a large transition programme and at the moment we don't know when we are going to be coming back into school and whether we will be able to run our normal transition programme. So therefore I have some wonderful students with me that are going to start an alternative transition programme to make sure you feel settled and welcome to Nicholas Breakspear School when you start in September. Now, at Nicholas Breakspear, I've been here for quite a few years and uh, several years ago I was Head of Year 7. I now work very closely with the Head of Year 7 to help induct all of you. And I spend a lot of time going around your schools and meeting all of you. And there are some commonly asked questions every single year that you all ask. So the wonderful students that you see on the screen around me now, uh, they're going to ask, uh, sorry, answer those commonly asked questions for you now. So year six, first of all, we have Cairo. So Cairo, I'm going to first of all ask you the question, a lot of children say to me, but Miss Price, I get really worried about getting lost in school because it's so big. Kyra, what would you say to the students? I highly recommend that you ask someone in the eight or older or anyone like the staff who knows where everything is. If you are lost on your own, then you will politely go to the closest classroom and not to ask to tell the teacher where you're going. The teacher may ask the room number or who is teaching you and they'll give you a response. Cara, do you think older students would also guide you to the room and take you to the room? Yeah, okay. During your first week last year, did you have any buddies, um, i.e. your prefects, to help take you to your rooms for the first week? Yeah, yes. How did that make you feel? Safe. Thank you, Cairo. Thank you very much for that lovely answer. Now, every time I go to primary schools, the next question I get asked, Megan, okay, is will the students look after me? What would you say to a year six pupil if they said, I'm really scared about the older students, will they be there to look after me? Well, yeah, they'll definitely be there to look after you. And because um, they, they were in that situation in the first place, they'll understand what you're going through. So they're probably the best person to go to if you need any help or anything. Thank you, Megan. Also, when you're around at break time and lunch time, um, again, are the older students quite nice when you're walking around school? Well, yeah, because they, they, they also know that you're new to the school and you're not very familiar with the surroundings. So they'll definitely help you around. Uh, that's lovely, Megan. Thank you so much. Right, so question three. Johnny, okay, we know at Nicholas Breakspear School, um, and one of the students is going to talk about the lessons later, but we also have a lot of extracurricular activities that are on offer. Would you mind discussing that with Year 6 for me now, please? Well, yeah, there's a lot of extracurricular activities. Some of them are more popular than others. Some of the most popular ones are like a netball and football on like a Wednesday. And then on a Friday, there's drama club and there's like lunchtime activities as well. Uh, some people go to if you have time to eat your lunch in time. Okay, what what are the activities that are on offer in um, sport? So what sport, uh, what teams are there, Johnny? Um, there's Gaelic, there's basketball, there's netball, there's trampolining when year seven start doing trampolining. Obviously, you mentioned earlier about drama club. Are there any opportunities also in music at Nicholas Breakspear? Yeah, some, um, during lunchtime you can book like music lessons with professionals or you can go there just to practice on your own and after school you can go into the music studios to practice on your own if you want to. Fantastic. Um, and also I know that we, um, we do our productions as well, Johnny. Were there many Year 7s involved in the production this year? Um, yeah, the Year 7s had the biggest amount of people in the play. Fantastic. And did people feel confident to be in, in the play, do you think? 
Um, yeah, I think so, because when they were acting, they acted like very confidently. Fantastic. And the older students, I'm sure, Megan, you would agree there that the older students really helped them um, in terms of having that confidence to perform in front of others and the rest of the school. Thank you very much, Johnny. OK, over to our next question. This is one of the dreaded questions that I do get asked. Um, and Paxton, I do remember when we went to your primary school, this was a key question that was asked. How much homework will I get? So what I'd say was um, usually you get about an, an hour a day, maybe. Um, and sometimes, like, uh, like Johnny said, there's extracurricular clubs, so some people attend them. So a tip I'd give is when, once you've been, when you're set the homework, to do it when you're set, because um, if you leave it and maybe you're attending an extracurricular um, activities outside of school or inside of school, uh, you won't have the time to do it. So I strongly suggest doing it on the day it's set. How would you know where your homework um, is to be found, Pat? So we use an app called Show My Homework, which, um, which will display the homework on you can download it on your mobile or on your computer and um, it also has a login for your parents so your parents can monitor your homework as well and uh, if you're ever stuck in your homework you can um, message the, uh, the teacher who set your homework in the app or you can um, email them because their email should be in the, in the task. Oh, that's brilliant, Pastor. Thank you. Did you feel quite overwhelmed when you first started with the amount of homework? Um, or was it something that, because you were doing it on the night that it was set, allowed you to get into a routine? I think it allowed me to get into the routine because as we started off, they didn't um, sort of give us loads of homework. So they, um, we were like sort of eased into it so that we got used to like going into class and doing work and then doing it for homework things like that and then it sort of progressed to um, about an hour a day I'd say. Fantastic thank you so much Paxton that's a, a wonderful answer there and I know something that a lot of children worry about uh, going from their primary school to secondary school. Um, now Caitlin um, I know obviously uh, when you joined us this year um, you've mentioned to me previously about the number of lessons uh, and things that you have so I'm just wondering how many lessons would you have during a school day first of all? Um, we have five lessons a day. Okay so how are your five lessons how are they mapped out across the day? Um, they're on a timetable and there's two periods and then there's a break and then two periods and a lunch time and then there's one more before the end of the day. Thank you. How long do lessons last, Caitlin? An hour. Oh, brilliant. And do you have time to get to your next lesson? We have five minutes between each lesson. Brilliant, thank you. Um, would you mind just um, clarifying some of the lessons that you actually have at Nicholas Breakspear? Um, I have French and music and drama and design technology. Fantastic. Do you do any English and maths? Yes. <laughs> um, any other lessons that you can think of that you actually study at the moment, i.e. with Miss Price? Yes. Ari Fantastic. and geography and history and science. Oh, that's brilliant. It's quite a different, isn't it, you know, from your primary school. Which lessons have you found um, kind of most exciting since starting at Nicholas Breakspear that maybe you didn't get to do or are different from your primary school? Design technology and drama. And why are they different? We didn't really get to do them at primary school. And fantastic. Um, What's your favourite lesson? And it's okay to not say RE. What's your favourite lesson um, that you've taken on since starting at Nicholas Breakspear? Drama. Your drama? Fantastic. Thank you so much, Caitlin, for that uh, insight into um, our timetable. Uh, moving on, Kira, I'm coming to you next. Um, Kira, a big question that people ask me as well is about um, the canteen um, and about food and kind of where and when students are allowed to um, eat food at Nicholas Breakspear School. Would you mind just giving us a bit of information, please? Well, after period two, it's break and you can go to the canteen and get waffles and stuff. Um, and you can sit inside or sit outside. And then at lunchtime, 
if you like have a packed lunch, you can either sit outside or go into the canteen. If you have school dinners, you have to like line up outside and then wait until you're told to go in. You get your food and you put in your pin code and then you can eat it inside in a while. Sorry, Kira, what do you mean by a pin code? Okay, so um, when you have to pay for your food, so um, we don't use like money, so we have to put in a pin code and it's like an online banking system. So they'll take the money out of your account so you can eat your food. So is that the uh, mums, dads, whoever you live with at home, they top up your account and then you get given a private PIN number that you get to use, is that right? Yeah. And how easy did you find adapting to that? It's quite easy. As long as you remember your code, then you can just eat and enjoy. Okay, so what happens if you forget your code? What would you do? Um, you would go to student services and tell them that you forgot their code that you're quite and they would see if they can get it for you. Just very quickly, in student services, are they quite helpful? Very helpful, yes. And what kind of things have they needed to help you with this year? Um, when I lost my bus pass, I had to go to them and they like were searching for it and they found it. Oh, fantastic. So they are maybe somewhere that you could go in school if you had any worries about any of the questions that we're talking about now. Yes. Oh, thank you so much, Kieran. Thank you for reassuring us. Can I just ask very quickly, what's your favourite meal in the canteen? Chicken pie. Oh, that sounds amazing. And what does the chicken pie come with? Um, like potatoes, carrots and gravy. Fantastic. Do you have a dessert with that usually too? No. Oh, good girl. <laughs> uh, but I hear there are some very nice desserts in there. Is that right? Yeah, tasty ones. Fantastic. Just very quickly, um, in terms of in the canteen, is there anywhere in there where you'd be able to fill up your water bottles? Yes, yeah, so there's two like stations near the door to buy your food, and there's like got water, and you just line up and put your bottle in. Fantastic. And then opportunities to buy any other drinks also? Yeah, there's like fizzy drinks, like chocolate milk and water there as well that you can buy. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much, Kira. I'm pleased that we can reassure the uh, Year 6 is coming up. There's lots of options for them, either with their school meals or also with their packed lunches. Thank you so much, Kira. Uh, moving on now, Cairo. Okay, I'm coming back to you, young man. Now, we all know at times during the day, we may need to go to the toilet. Um, yeah. what, what do we do here at Nicholas Breaks here in, in respect of needing the toilet? Okay, just for your information, during lesson time, the toilets are actually locked. So I recommend that you go to the toilet during all break times. One break is 15 minutes and the other one is 40 minutes. That should be more than enough time to go to the toilet. If you need to go desperately to the toilet during a lesson, you would need to politely ask your teacher to go to the toilet and then they will send you to student services and the student services will ask you can you ask student services for the key to unlock the toilet so that you'd be able to use it fantastic and uh Kyra, just very quickly in terms of using the toilet have you ever been worried or um scared of being in the toilet with any of the other older students not really because everyone's kind and they will look after you they'll advise you and help you and do we have separate places in school where the older students use the toilet and then the younger students use the toilet? Yes, the, for the boys, the boys' toilets are underneath the maths corridor stairs. And for the girls, that is in the PE corridor. And the older students will have their own toilets, um, toilets somewhere in the corridor where, near the oratory. Thank you, good boy. Uh, thank you for that, I really appreciate it. So you're definitely feeling at ease going to the toilet. Can I have a thumbs up from all of you if you all feel okay in terms of going to the toilet at Nicholas Breakspeare? Fantastic, thank you. Because I know that's a big worry of students about kind of going in and going to the toilets and being in with older students. So thank you. Thank you so much for that, Cairo. Okay. Okay, now my final question. Okay, I'm going to come to uh, Megan. Now this is uh, probably the... Uh, the question I get asked the most, and probably the first question I get asked also, will I get a detention at Nicholas Breakspeare School? 
yeah, you will definitely get a detention, but only if you don't follow the rules in your communication book. And like in my experience, I got a detention for forgetting to bring my homework in, and that was because I wasn't organised and I didn't pack my bag with my homework in it. And also, I got a, a different detention, which is an SLT, which is on a Friday night for an hour and a half because I said something in the corridor really loud. Now, Megan, just very quickly on that note, do you think you would definitely get a detention um, if you came into school and followed all of the school rules? Definitely, no, because you're, you, you wouldn't break any rules, so that means you wouldn't need to get punished. Fantastic. So could you just outline some of the key things that are really important that you do to ensure that you do not get a detention? So you, need, you can listen and not shout out and like in class don't talk over your um, teacher or your peers or um, use inappropriate language. What about uh, homework? You, because you, on Show My Homework you will have it all set out so you, you'll definitely know if you've got any Joe in and so you, you would normally do it in your book but in my case it was on a piece of paper. Um, so you would always remember it because you would have that lesson that day, so it would be in your book. Okay. Um, just very quickly, I know something else. Do In terms of getting to lessons and getting to school on time, would there be any reason why you might get a detention for any of those reasons, Megan? Yeah, because um, if you were travelling to school by your, um, say, your car or on your own with your parent or something, and you're um, and you're late behind the and you come the, after the bell, you would get a detention because you're not coming in on the right time. Okay, uh, thank you very much for that, Megan. Um, just all of you, Year Six, very quickly in terms of the questions all the students have answered, I think they've all answered absolutely beautifully. So thank you to all of you for being involved. And I'm going to ask you all one final question in a moment. Um, but Year Six, I think the key is. What is coming through from our year, current year sevens is not to be worried, not to be afraid that everybody at Nicholas Breakspeare School is here to help you and to support you. The members of staff, the older students, the current year sevens who have just been through the transition process, but also all of our support staff, the ladies in admin, the wonderful ladies in our student service area. Okay, so please, you don't need to worry about anything. We're all here to help you and support you and guide you, okay, through this transition period and when you start in September. Uh, right, so I'm gonna ask you all now one final question, okay? And I'm going to randomly select you for your answers. What is your favorite thing about being at Nicholas Breakspeare School? Now, Johnny, I'm going to come to you first. Um, the favourite thing about Nicholas Racing School is probably about being able to try all the new things that have been at the school that I didn't get to try in my primary school. Good. Tell me the one big thing that you've loved trying the most. Rugby, definitely. Why is that? Because in primary, um, I was quite, I was like small, and nobody expected me to play rugby, because we do like tag rugby, and that was like not the same. As it's just quite fun, as I think that like, I wouldn't be able to like get into it because I'm quite small. Okay, well I'm pleased that you've enjoyed your rugby, Johnny. So well done, Kira. Over to you. What are your thoughts? Favorite thing about starting at Nicholas Breakspeare or being at Nicholas Breakspeare? Like, all the students and teachers are really nice and friendly, and if you ever get lost, they help you instantly. Like they just do it out of kindness. Thank you, Kira. Okay, I'm coming to you now, Caitlin. It's like a really nice community and everyone's really kind. And Thank, you. Thank you, Caitlin. Paxton, over to you. What I'd say is um, the PE lessons because we've been trusted with, uh, with more, let's say, um, dangerous equipment. So um, in our last PE topic, we were working on a gym and dance display. So we were using things like trampolines and crash mats and things like that. So. Um, in primary, we weren't really trusted with things like that, so it's nice to use um, some more different equipment. So not necessarily dangerous, but you're being taught the correct ways to use these kind of advanced materials and uh, yeah. advanced equipment. What's your yeah. favourite? Is it trampolining or gymnastics? Trampolining. Fantastic, well done. Looking forward to seeing you guys when you perform our next gym and dance competition. <laughs> okay, Megan, over to you. 
Well, my favourite thing is to um, do the projects that we have. So, um, like um, in different lessons, you'll get um, projects that you will do at home. But because because in primary we didn't really do much like that. So okay. that What's your favourite favorite project, Megan? Um, I think it was for English when we had to make a Frankenstein head and I made a cake. Oh wow, fantastic. Did you get to eat it afterwards? No, because everyone touched it when it was on display. Oh good girl, well done. And particularly with what's going on at the moment, well done. <laughs> okay, and finally over to you Cairo. Okay, off you go. My favourite thing about MBS is the teacher support because they've helped me do things that I had never, to be honest, thought about. Like everything behind everything that we learn. For example, ICT. I have never ever known what's been behind the computer. And it's been really fascinating, but learning about wiry codes and what everything stands for that we know. Another thing is drama. Drama is one of my favourite subjects now. I never had a chance to do it in primary school, but it's really inspired me to be more confident. Also, in PE, I, I normally used to be that play football all the time, but it's really helped me to, to play new sports like rugby, and now I play rugby instead. The teacher support is just overwhelming. It really helped me into this school. Thank you very much, Cairo. And to all of you, a, a huge thank you very much for being with us today. Um, I think we just need to give our year sixes a little wave so they recognise your faces. Okay, so if we give our year sixes a wave there, okay, and we'll say goodbye to them and we'll obviously get to see them very soon. And I'm pretty sure all of you will be there to help year six when they start. Is that correct, guys? Fantastic. Thank you so much for all being with us today. Thank you.